Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to make a speed ramp in reverse easy and quick, but this is not only in reverse tutorial, I will show you how to make a video going forward then backward and then forward again. Let's begin. First of all right click on your clip, then go to time and select, enable time remapping. Now by moving this time forward I will choose the beginning of the video. Cool, in my case my video will start from here. Now scroll forward a bit, or where the first beat drop is and begin moving this time forward again to choose the ending. And now we have a speed ramp that will go only forward, so let's reverse it now. Scroll forward again and then let's move the time backward. Nice, now let's scroll forward again and move the time forward as well. With these keyframes I have made a speed ramp that will go forward then backward and in the end it will go forward again. Let's cut the video what's after the last keyframe and simply delete it. Now select all keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor, right click here and select, edit value graph. And now we should make a very smooth curve. First of all I will speed up the beginning of the video, so make sure to move this yellow line up like that. Now we need to smooth the reversed keyframe and I'm going to make a curve like slider, so grab that second yellow line and let's move it up a bit. And the another one I will move down until the curve looks too smooth for me. Select this bottom line now and stretch it all the way to the left side, pay attention on how smooth curve I'm making, it should look like these, otherwise speed ramp will be messed up and won't look so smooth. Grab that second yellow line and move it all the way to the right side and then do the same with that last one. Let's quickly check it. Once you are happy with your speed ramped clip, make sure to enable frame blending. Click here twice until you see an arrow. Once we have that speed ramp ready, it doesn't mean it's enough and we can render the video. The next step is very important, make sure to stabilize your videos, otherwise it will look like this. And now check the stabilized one. To stabilize the clip, first make sure to pre-compose your layer, make sure move all attributes is selected and then hit OK. Now click on stabilize motion. Make track point slightly bigger for better tracking and then move it on a part you want to lock on. In my case I will lock on the headlight here. Click on options now and make sure to select RGB and then enable adapt feature on every frame and then hit OK. Now click on track forward button and wait until it's done. As the tracking is done, click on apply and hit OK. Let's close the tracking window now and check our clip. It's all stabilized and everything looks fine to me, but now we have the black edges here. To fix it, press S on your keyboard and scale your video until the edges are fixed. To fix it, you can also use a motion tile effect, but it creates a mirror-like effect and for me it looks a bit weird, so scaling the video is not a big problem. For more smoothness and better results, we should add motion blur. You have two options here, one is free and another one is paid. Free is CC Force Motion Blur, the paid one is RSMB Pro. For me RSMB looks better, under the RSMB let's enable use GPU and I think blur amount is enough in my case. If you don't have RSMB Pro, make sure to write me on Instagram, you will be surprised with my reply on your message, just make sure to write me a word, plugins on Instagram and wait for my reply. Hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and like the video please.